Hello. So that's the contraption. Uh, a few things I already noticed. It's, it's fun to play with. Um, putting damping behind the tweeter uh, reduces a little bit the 1k ish range, which is nice because I have a kind of drop off in the ultra high or the higher frequencies, especially from 16k. Uh, I had to implement a, a cue that does a, a kind of kind of whoop de doo so a kind of lift from three and a half dB or something in this region. Um, what I also noticed is putting a magnet here and here, so putting the tweeter foil closer to the magnets, unfortunately only at a very small points, two small points, uh, does raise the top end. Uh, you can see that in the measurements, I'll show you the measurements during the song, uh, you can see that it raises. Um, I also made measurements of taping off these sides and especially on the tweeter side you can see that it was how it was and what it became by just taping off the unsupported or undriven <coughs> mylar. Uh, so I should use thicker neodymium magnets or get the foil closer towards it. It boosts well efficiency in, in general but especially the top end as you've seen by adding these two magnets it raises the, the upper high frequency. So these magnets are a little bit well too thin or too far away. I mean there's a gap of two millimeter from foil to magnet. That is too big if you want to have more higher frequencies. I damped the mid-range a tiny bit from the back. You see some felt there. It's not. It's like damped here, not there. Shoot them both. Uh, yeah. Also, the impedance of the mid-range is only two point something ohm, two point two or something. So it would be a good candidate for a double-sided coil, although. This is a tiny bit thicker uh, aluminium that I use by hand than I normally use when I use the machine. So it could be that I make the foil on the machine and add the tweeter later on uh, as I showed in the building video because that worked out quite well. Rather pleased with that result. Uh, I could also do 2mm magnets and one row of 3mm magnets so there is only you know, a bit of coil that is close to the magnets that has more higher frequencies that should increase dispersion as well. So this does some high frequencies, this thing here, but let's say the other two here are doing the bulk of it, which makes it smaller irradiating area, not completely, because the other one still has some high frequencies, but less. So it might counter some roll off. Not completely, because then I have to like use a filter, which is also possible, but then it becomes a three-way or four-way, which is, I'd rather not do that. Or I have to, uh, yeah, that's, this is the easiest method, or I use just one cap and, you know, let it play along, but I think this will work. Uh, damping should be on the mid-range on the inside, helps a lot. I didn't do it, but I should have done that. Uh, damping in the tweeter area might be thicker felt, there's room enough, instead of strapping felt on the back as I did right now. Yeah, so it's a fun, well it's not a project because I, I've just learned a lot uh, why some dips are there and how to kind of counter it. It's of course not completely flat still, it's hard when you have this size of tweeter. Uh, a smaller tweeter is easier to, to get flat because here the height of the microphone, measuring microphone, also kind of influence how the curve looks. Uh, all measurements were taken sort of in the middle, but I can't say it was exactly in the middle. Uh, and slightly to the right, so n not even straight on axis with the tweeter. But well, let's play a song and then leave it at that. Because the weather is so shitty, 
I was gonna play Sarah K. I can't stand the rain. And I agree. Oh, let me clap as well because it's a thing I forget lately. The woofer has the hardest time because it's a tiny woofer. I can't stand the rain. It's against my open door. And bringing back sweet memories and that window pane so do you remember how sweet it used to be it was when we were together and everything was so great one of those so I'll probably put it in the dumpster uh, in a few weeks time but uh, yeah learned quite some bit I mean yes I could combine them with neodymium and it kind of works are there problems yes they are I should be able to raise the higher frequencies a little bit more but overall no kind of fun for uh, a few hours work although it's only one which is kind of annoying because you know when you put two speakers there it's really impressive if you listen to one all the time so too bad I only have one I don't know why I have one of these panels might be I don't know where the other one is if I have one ah well we'll see see you around
Bye-bye.